Hello everybody. Today's tutorial shows how to do a wedge delay calibration. In a typical workflow, this calibration usually occurs after the velocity calibration, but before the sensitivity calibration. In the velocity and zero calibration, we settled the velocity for one angle only. The velocity of sound in an isotropic material remains constant for all angles. The zero, however, changes according to its related angle. This calibration wizard calibrates to zero for all angles. The same equipment as the velocity calibration is required. We are going to select the wedge delay wizard. It is possible to do the calibration on a different reflector, but for this block, the radius is the best one to use. As always, we will get better results with unsaturated signals. We suggest to put it around 80% full screen height. The signal should be within the extraction box border. We can now see that our reference is at 100mm and that the tolerance by default is 2mm. If you are unsatisfied with your wedge delay correction, it is possible to remove the envelope. Once the reference swept, the wedge delay correction can be applied. When the signal is within the required tolerance, we press F3 and accept the calibration. We can now see that the reflector is at 100mm for all angles and that the wedge delay calibration indicator status is green. We hope this tutorial has been useful and thank you for being with us.